Hello everyone, today we are going to see how to create this uh, wavy surface that uh, will be related to two uh, parameters um, basically that are graph mapper um, and uh, moving the, this uh, curve inside the graph mapper we can uh, obtain a difference effect and uh, shapes So, uh, we are going to start from an uh, uh, empty file of Grasshopper. So, file, new documents. And I already um, drew a um, rectangle on the uh, arena side. So, I'm going to uh, bring it inside Grasshopper to get it inside Grasshopper. So, first of all, I create a curve uh, container in which I store my rectangle, set one curve perfect, so now I'm going to evaluate the uh, to take the uh, upside edges of uh, this rectangle so first of all I create a surface, before boundary surface then I'm going to uh, debut wrap so I can deconstruct the wrap so I can take the edges of uh, the shape uh, now I select uh, two edges uh, through the common item, list item list item and then I'm going to use a slider maybe four to take the opposite um, edges of this rectangle so this is the first one at the item tree and the, f the second one sh is at one. Okay, I have the opposite opposite edges. Now I am now I am going to divide it, divide them. Um, I can leave the counter to ten, but you in the future can modify these values if you want to increase the. precision of the model then uh, or maybe better the resolution of the model then um, uh, I'm going to connect the same divide to the output of the second item so to the second edge now I want to link this point with this point with uh, a set of line so I'm going to use core primitive line between two points and I'm going to link the first point set to A and the second point set to B now you can see that uh, um, and it is, uh, the line command is not working correctly uh, basically because uh, we have to reverse the order of one of the basic list of the command so we go to the second divide and uh, use a reverse list to have uh, to let line work uh, well so now we have these uh, lines so we are going to divide them another time but before doing it I want to, to divide them in uh, two sets uh, so to do this we use the command uh, of the list that is called dispatch dispatch list that dispatch the basic list uh, using a pattern the pattern is uh, um, if you, if you stay with the mouse on P we can see that the the full pattern is true false that is good for us so it's going to divide um, one curve um, from the following one so uh, at the end the result of uh, we is uh, basically uh, are six six um, curves in that are stored in A and uh, five core uh, five line that are stored in uh, the B set okay S we start to work with the uh, set A A so uh, what we can do is divide the curve 
and um, now we are going to move this point in direction z because we are working on the x uh, y plane and uh, now we are going to create the graph mapper to uh, and we use the graph mapper to de de define the intensity of this movement uh, so we use uh, uh, with the right right uh, click of the mouse we use graph tiles sign and uh, so we are going to use this graph mapper with an amplifier to uh, move the points in the z direction and to do this first of all we have to uh, give values to the graph mapper in order to evaluate the amplitude of th of the um, of the intensity of this post of the movement so uh, we we first of all reparameterize the curve in order that the t value in output will be between 0 and 1 because this is the domain of the curve now we are going to link the t values to the graph mapper then uh, the result will be multiplied for the vector and uh, we introduce also um, amplifier with a slider that I will set to 100 for the moment and uh, the result of this amplifier we, 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 uh, will be connected with the T value okay the amplifier is too height so basically what we attain is a is a, a curve that have the uh, shape of the graph mapper. Um, we we don't have properly a curve now. With interpret with the interpret command, we will obtain a line. So interpolate. Perfect. Now uh, we have a curve that uh, uh, is. Uh, um, uh, refers to this this uh, drawing that we have uh, done inside the graph mapper okay this is these are the first sets of curve we need then we need the second uh, set we copy all this part of the definition and uh, connect the second curve output to the curve input uh, but um, before since we want uh, the co the two sets to move um, to move differently, uh, we have to take the output of the divide, the, the p output of the divide, and shift it shift um, of uh, by by one default we have one so it is okay, and we have to link it with move. Now uh, you can see that the interpret curve is not working well, and uh, bef to to avoid this, before the uh, interpret curve, we uh, use another time shift uh, in order to um, to bring the uh, point in the correct uh, position. So uh, now in uh, shift in the value to shift, we have to use minus one. And then we connect to V. Okay, now now uh, is working well. So we can see that the uh, two curves are uh, totally independent, uh, one by the other. And uh, uh, now what we want to do is to uh, link these two sets, is to merge these two sets. To do it, uh, we use uh, wave that we can find um, here under the list group wave uh, wave that is uh, uh, exactly the opposite of uh, the dispatch we used before. And now we use wave to link these two sets together. So. Uh, when uh, the pattern is at zero one, so we will take the first curve here and the second here, the third here, the fourth here, 
so um, it will create a list uh, starting from two lists, two different lists using this uh, pattern. So I will connect the first curve to z uh, curve set to zero and the second curve set to one. Now um, uh, I flat. Uh, I'm going to flatten the uh, the value in input. Now I should have uh, 11 curves, and so this is okay. This is what I need. Then I'm going to take the curve, and uh, now my uh, goal is to uh, is to individuate the first the curve that uh, link uh, every uh, starting point of uh, uh, this course. To do it, uh, we can do endpoints. Um, and use it with the first set of core and uh, with the second set of core. Now I'm going to use wave uh, another time. Uh, this time with the first set of a point, uh, with the set of starting point, and then with the sets of ending point. Perfect. So we can see that if I select wave um, I will uh, select all the first points of the of uh, the every curves and then uh, if I select end point I will select all the ending point of uh, of the curves so now what I want to do is interpolate also these points so I take the starting point, I interpret them. Look what I have. I have the this curve that will be the curve uh, in U direction in uh, a network surface. And so then we have another interpolate curve. Um, for some reason, it's not working well. Look, I have uh, made a mistake here. So I correct it. Perfect. Now it's working. So these are the two curve in uh, U direction, and then uh, this set of curve that we found it before will be the V, di v direction curve. Now we we are going to create the surface, so network surface, and we are going to link uh, the curves in the U direction using uh, shift to to put all the curves inside you and uh, we use flatten and then we connect uh, the second set of curve in view in V and uh, we use flatten too and uh, now uh, we can use a custom visualization custom preview to in order to let the uh, shades more visible and now can use also material set one material and uh, i already prepared a rhino this material that is metal metal and now uh, basically the exercise is uh, done now we can work with uh, uh, the intensity we have given here uh, look we have mm, since we we duplicate this part of the definition we have two uh, slider for the intensity but we can uh, also use one slider uh, in order to define all the intensity the intensity of of uh, both the sets of codes and so now we can uh, see um, uh, to better see the definition we can also mm, we can also um, disable the preview of all the elements now is uh, is working very well and uh, now uh, we can use this uh, graph mapper in order to define the uh, our surface our surface form so you can see that with a definition we can uh, we can obtain a very uh, almost uh, infinite um, amount of uh, different surfaces uh, okay uh, 
if you like the tutorial you can um, subscribe to my channel and also like the videos good work and have a good day